One of the most fiercest rivalries in the land as England's most successful clubs go head-to-head -head at Old Trafford. It's Manchester United versus Liverpool at the Theatre of Dreams. I'm your host, Deshwan, and with me in studio today is Premier League analyst Keba Motohai. Thank you very much for having me, Desh. At Liverpool are two points clear at the top of the log. I think Arsenal are in second place. You wanted to check. Yeah, is that yeah. A, a point in? Uh, is there a game in hand? Uh, no, I believe not. So I think it's after 30 games played, Liverpool actually outright Ooh, top boy. of the log. Um, that being said, is it their Premier League trophy to relinquish? No. Uh, hey, the thing is now, as we're going to reach the, the discussion with United, um, uh, the match against United, yeah. this is the, I think I can't remember a tighter Premier League race ever, where yeah. there were three teams with eight games to go. Yeah. Maybe you'd have to go back to 2007 and eight when it was Chelsea, Liverpool and Manchester United all those years ago. But I'm just looking at it here. Mm. Three points and goal difference. You get the feeling that three points and goal difference are going to prove uh, the difference between these teams. And eight games, yeah. eight games. That is a long way to go. Hundred mm, percent. And you know, uh, I believe most of these uh, clubs are involved in European competition. Exactly. So we never know how how that could impact the season. Um, I'd like to just tell Arsenal fans: you might as well relinquish the Champions League now. <laughs> Concentrate on the league. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I think in terms of priorities, I've, I've told my Arsenal mates, guys. I think it's better just throw your lot in with the league right now because you are the best team mm. in the league at the moment. I don't care what anybody says. Arsenal are the informed. They look to have everything in control. I genuinely hope that they could have stolen something at the Etihad. Mm. But perhaps it's about taking some. They took something. Yeah. But imagine what a mortal blow it would have been had they stolen the game against City. But it doesn't matter. Job done. Yeah. But looking ahead to this weekend, of course, it is... Liverpool up against Man United at the Theatre of Dreams. Now, United haven't had the best uh, results of recent against Liverpool, I believe, in the league. They've only won one of their previous 11 Premier League meetings. I remember correctly, they scored something like 27 goals in the last five games against United. It's like seven mm. nils, five nils, yeah. four nils. Four. And unfortunately, the pain is going to continue. Liverpool is going to want to pay United back for, for the, the decades of but misery. We, and and, and the, the FA Cup match that we discussed it a few weeks ago. That mm. Because it was a cup game, I expected United to win it because it's a cup game. Unfortunately, now uh, Liverpool needs results, the points yeah. because if, imagine, it's Jurgen Klopp's swan song. You have owned it. Klopp has owned Manchester United in recent mm. years. And imagine United derails you. The one team you don't want to give Klopp the worst fail. Yeah. That, that's, that, I think that's um, uh, probably one of the main um, um, subplots. Because I mm. think Champions League football is gone for United. It's just about sabotaging. That's all. I, it's just a sabotage mm. mission. Or hanging on to your whatever pride you have left. Yeah. Okay, well, let's look at the reverse fixture. It was a goalless tie yeah. at Anfield now. And that one, it was still one-way traffic. I think Liverpool yeah. attempted 36 shots or yeah. something without finding the back net. It was the most um, that Liverpool had attempted since um, Opta started recording the stats in 0304. So, you know, for them not to find the back net after 36 shots, do you think it's going to be more of that this weekend? Let me point out the irony. They've got the most shots against uh, United ever. That's been recorded since up to 36. Nothing goes in. Yeah. The previous game, the 7-0, no, 8 shots, 7 go in. Oh, that's, that's ridiculous. S 8 shots, 7. It's the beauty of football. Football is, doesn't have any... And Sitsuanu said, I'm not there for. There was a comment who said, I'm not there for. So, I, just watching United, the lack of control, the mm. lack of... The minute they turn the ball over at one end, if I'm Salah, I'm just going to be waiting. Like, there's my mm. chance to punish Onana and... I think if Liverpool take their chances, if Liverpool scores early, oh no, 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 no. Sorry, United fans, mm. this is going to be a long afternoon. Yeah, 100%. Um, speaking of Man United, they do have a few first team players back, you know, the likes of Mason Mount, Rasmus Hoyland, um, Anthony also putting a yeah. decent performance yeah. against Chelsea. Can you see maybe some, some goals coming in from, from them? That's the thing. The goals are going in at one end, but the problem is they're leaking. Mm. They're leaking a lot of goals. It's like they're currently on minus one. That's never happened before in, since I've been born where United, United's goal difference is in the minuses. Mm. So it could be, for all we know, we could have a 5-3 Liverpool. But I think um, United, I don't think are going to score this weekend. I, I doubt it. Mm. I still think they're going to get given three minimum, just just on 
the uh, the phase of where each team is at the uh, at this point in in the season and what's at stake mm-hmm. and what each team def- uh, offers defensively. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at uh, look uh, to Liverpool now. Of yeah. course, Mohamed Salah has been. Yeah. A thorn in United's yeah. yes. side for for the last couple of years. Thirteen goals against them. <laughs> yeah, it's something ridiculous yeah. like that. Do you think he's going to add to his talent this weekend? He definitely will. No, it's, just, it's you might as well call Old Trafford Old Salafield because mm. man, he saves his best performances for, for United for the at, <laughs> simply because United is a team. Like uh, it's sad to admit, I'm a fan. Just so you know, you just lean on them. If you just mm. lean on them hard enough, they will collapse. It's mm. like. You just shake and then they fall over. They mm-hmm. might resist. It's not like two years ago under Ragnick where they downed tools. Remember there was that last end of the season where they just gave up. Mm. They, they were losing every away game and barely winning at home. But this one, they fight, 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 but then fall away. Mm. So and I, I can imagine that unless they score early, we might have another classic like the mm. FA Cup. Because I don't bet, I won't bet against another, what is it, 4-3 as yeah. well. That's another 4-3 well. United, no control. So... Uh, could be could be anybody's yeah. game on the day. All right. That being said, let's move into your prediction. Like I said, I still think that Liverpool is going to win three 0 mm. I think they are not going to mess around in front of goals. And uh, this United team, their their ears must have been ringing all the way back to or um, Manchester on the M M six mm. or M sixty four, whatever the highway is called. And I don't know because Ten Hag right now, it's it's figuring in Ten Hag. Ten Hag. As much as I say it would be harsh to fire him with the winds of change sweeping through Old Trafford, he's not exactly doing enough to convince people to keep him in charge. I, I'm going to I'm prevaricate by saying, yes, he had, he had a good season. And it happens in England that you have a good first season. Your second season will be difficult. Mm. It's been proven. But you need to show why you should be there for season number three. So... That's a man, I, I'm telling you right now, the wolves are through the door now. The wolves are through the door, the critics are on him. I felt, I felt it, I sensed it, and I wouldn't defend. Like two weeks ago when you discussed him, his job being under pressure, I said no, I would back him. But right now, I'm not going to back him. I'm not going to have him fired, but I'm going to stand aside because he's on his own now. Mm. He needs a bounce back. This has, he has to prove me wrong this weekend. Mm, of course. Well, football fans, you've heard it right here from Premier League analyst Keba, from myself and all of us in studio. Until next week, cheers.